Hey guys, I'm going to try some experiments here. Or I'm going to abort it and try again later on when I've warmed up. These are my first shots of the day. One of my recent videos I was trying to do, well, I was just messing with this shot and talking about, can I make the nine and draw back? And if so, how far can I draw back? And one of the comments to that video suggested, you know, try some other cues. And maybe one of those other cues will allow me to get, you know, more draw than I'm getting currently with my Southwest. And I thought, yeah, it's a interesting thing. So I went to my cases and I got out some cues that are kind of representative. Of the ones I have, I have 40, I'm not going to do all 40. Um, of course, I have my Southwest, and I picked out five more cues, and I'll get to that. <clears throat> I don't think this is going to be a super long video, because I think I'm going to have to chop a bunch of it up. So you don't get to see me miss cue and all that all the damn time, which I try to do when I shoot hard with bottom. I do try to draw, or do, do a miss cue. So, uh, just as, I guess, a control to make it, you know, I guess a scientific experiment. And if I could be consistent at this, it could be a true control, a true scientific experiment. But I'm not very consistent. So you're probably just going to see, you know, like my best effort or my most representative effort with the Southwest. And this is the cue I'm used to. And so to my mind, you know, I feel like I should I should be at the top or really close to the top with this cue because I'm used to it. Jason draw but missed a shot. I need I need to do both, or I'm not counting the experiment. And, and yes, for me that was decent draw. For a lot of you guys, I know you're all professional pool players. Uh, for me, yeah, that was pretty decent. If I made the ball, I probably wouldn't have come back at far. See, I, with the Southwest, I'm gonna call that maybe about the best I can do with the Southwest, is uh, to make the ball and come back. I'm even with this time. Um, I did not mention um, this has a little pro tip. I'm using the Town V10 on everything, or the, the Town Pyro on everything. If I were using a Triangle or a Master Chalk, or hell, or even the, the Pagulion Chalk, or that Predator uh, Pure, I would probably be able to do a little bit better. I do not think this Pyro Chalk grips as well as the other chalks. Uh, it makes up for it in everything else, so cleanliness mainly. So, you guys might not have seen this cue in a while. This is my Sean STL-10. Um, and it's got my Jacoby B-shaft on it. This was my main setup for seven or eight years. For like 2011 to 2019 when I got a PHR. This was my main setup. You know, of course I got really used to it. But I also haven't shot with it very much since then. It has... Actually looks like it has... <coughs> excuse me, a triangle tip on it. I'm not entirely sure why. I bet this has an ultra skin medium on it. Because that's what, that's what I shot with during that, that period. So right off the bat, I would have scratched. If it had the ball gone straight towards the pocket, I would have scratched. That, that would have surprised me. And honestly, that's really making me wonder now what kind of a tip is on this. I do believe that a softer tip will give you more spin slash draw. I know there are videos out on YouTube, at least one, 
says, no, nope, they are identical. My spreadsheet and slide rule says they are identical. Well, sometimes experience doesn't match theoretical stuff. Anyway, I'm just going to shoot one more time with the, the STL-10. See if that was a big fluke. Might have been. I kind of have to say that probably wasn't a fluke. That was interesting, wasn't it? I thought so. It is a low squirt. It is a low squirt shaft on this guy. This, the B shaft is. So the next screw I picked was my. Uh, this is my Joss N7 uh, Color Money Q stock shaft. It's got. This is either my best hitting Q or my second best hitting cue uh, with a wood shaft. My second best is a, is a peach hour, and I, I know I didn't pick it because I picked this one. I, I came to this one first when I was digging through my cases. Uh, he just has whatever Dan James would put on uh, the shafts, or whatever kind of tip. I've heard he has like some kind of secret stash of the pro tips, old the pro tips, whatever. They are, that's what's still on this guy. Pretty good as well. Can't can't argue with that. And I won't argue with that. I'm getting a it's not really a groove in the cloth. It's a dirty part of the cloth. Even though I'm using the town, which is very, very clean, when you do the same thing a million times, you can't see it on the camera, I don't think, but, but getting a slightly lighter colored patch of cloth, stripe of cloth. And then, of course, right here where the cue ball is, it's just being, you know, dented in because of the cue ball. Whatever. I had a friend of mine uh, actually had to shower the peach hour, and at one point he got a low deflection shaft. And he didn't like it. He said that he needed a whippier cue. He could get more action and stuff with a whippier cue. Never heard anybody call a peach hour a whippy cue, but that's what he did. So I went in and I got my whippy cue. Uh, this is a Muchi. This is the HOF1. This is a copy of something, some popular model from the 90s or whatever. Just with the stock shaft with the red dot, whatever that means. And just, it, it's a pretty whippy cue. It doesn't squirt very much. It was not marketed as a low squirt shaft, you know, except for the red dot, whatever that means. Eh. Honest truth is, I miss you a lot with this guy. Um, I don't, I don't know what's on this guy. It, this might be, like, it's probably just an ultra skin medium. The curvature looks correct, but I missed you more with this. I mean, a lot of messed up my cloth up here with miscue marks. So we're gonna just grab another cue. That's still a decent draw. This cue hasn't been on the channel very often. Uh, this is my Pierce. I bought a couple years ago at Derby City. And this is one of the shafts that came with it, a Killwood shaft. Now I was told that in here is also Killwood. And this is clearly Killwood. I don't know if that was the, the case or not. I don't know what tip on this guy. It looks, it looks layered. Does that help narrow it down? I don't know what you know, Pierce puts on his cues or whoever the previous owner put on this. I really like the way it looks.
Yep, yeah, so there's an object ball. Did you ever notice that? Apparently it's a little bit the the balance is different on this cue. Apparently I didn't measure it or anything. But one of the things that can happen with a different balance cue is that I'm, I'm up here holding it according, according to kind of the balance I'm used to. But I fouled the cue ball because everything was too far forward. So this balance on this cue is going to be further back than the balance point like on my southwest in relation to the rest of the cue. That, that's fine. You can get used to just about everything. So. The keelwood part of it feels really light. I feel like I could have hit that ball better. I still hit it decent. I feel like I could have hit it better. Came back what an inch further than from where it started. I just gotta grab chop quick or my catch will immediately swat it somewhere and then I'm out 20 bucks and gotta go buy another piece. And I didn't hit that one quite as well, I don't think. It would have been it would have been close if it had to come over in the proper direction. Really interesting. I'm just thinking it, in the far future when some archaeologist is digging through the ruins of my house, he's going to be excited at first when he finds all the cat toys. I call them joint protectors all over the place. But he's going to be really excited when he finds all the expensive chalk that's hidden under various things. So this here is the main reason I'm doing this video because I really wanted to try it. Um, this is this is my Tascarella, and this is a Synergy 15K, uh, I think at, what, 11.5? And I I thought when I read the other guy, the other guy's comment, that if I have a Q that's going to have a much better, like, draw stroke, it would probably be car a carbon fiber. So, so, this is the only carbon fiber one I have uh, out here for this experiment. So 11.8 11 millimeters. I really, I really should have held out for the 12 and a half because that, that's you know what my other fiber, carbon fiber shafts are. But they were out, and I'm kind of impatient sometimes. This has the Kamui tip with the uh, Kamui clear pad. It's, it's a harder tip than like the the pros I've been shooting with, but yeah, I'll still be okay. Yeah, pretty good. I am getting my best draw results, and actually my best accuracy results, when I take just a little bit off the speed and try to really focus on hitting the cue ball at six o'clock, right where I want. And if I'm if I'm shooting really hard, I, I can't focus on that as well. Or I can still focus, but my arm doesn't move as, as, as straight. So I'm having a little bit better success and a better draw action by taking a little bit of the speed off instead of just, you know, shooting as hard as I can and hoping I hit the cue ball in the right place because I'm almost never hitting the cue ball in the right place when I do that. That, might, that could be something that I could potentially work on. I fouled on that cue ball too. And he might make it to the rail. And he did. So this was my experiment. I don't know that I learned a whole lot. Um, actually, I'm not even going to stop yet. I'm going to do this again. I'm going to go back 
one more time to my southwest, which was my control. And also my first shots of the day were with this. So I think it's only fair that now that I'm in theory warmed up a little bit, that I shoot this at least once more with the southwest. The results of this experiment are not going to dictate what is my main cue from now going forward or whatever. My southwest is still my main cue. I haven't seen anything in this that makes me think, oh my God, I gotta switch that other cue. It's so much better. If I had a better stroke, maybe I would have. I have almost no doubt that some of the top pro players, Jeff DeLuna, my God, he could, he could draw back, hit here, hit here, hit here, and scratch in that corner. I have almost no doubt. But I'm Dave. Huh? I can't do that. I think I kind of have to, to admit that the Southwest is not giving me as good of a draw action as, as some of the other cues that I have out here. But, oh well, I kind of knew this did not have the best action, like of a hit, but it has predictability and consistency and good power transfer. And those are all what to me makes a good hitting cue. More than I know. So, as I said, the results of this experiment, they're not going to, I'm not going to change anything. I'm going to keep working on being able to get a better stroke with the Southwest on these draw shots. Now, at least with some of these other cues, I kind of see, yeah, it absolutely is possible for me to come back here. Or maybe even scratch if I got the direction correct. It is indeed possible for me physically to do it. And I don't think this cue would prevent me from being able to do that. That's it. Thanks, guys.